Hello, Internet. Word square. Pretty self-explanatory. It's a square made of words. More specifically, a word square of order n is an n by n grid of letters where for each row, the word formed by that row will be formed by the corresponding column. For example, here's a word square of order 5. Heart, Ember, Abuse, Resin, Trend. Not too long ago, I was watching a Vsauce 2 video where Kevin was talking about word squares when he mentioned that A true Order 10 word square is still considered the holy grail of recreational linguistics. That struck me as a little bit odd, because there can't be an unmanageable number of 10-letter English words. How come nobody's just taken a computer and beat the problem into submission either by finding a true order 10 square, or revealing that one isn't possible? You will pay for that. I looked it up and someone had tried this in 2004, but they had limited resources. A brand new machine with 512 megabytes of RAM. Holy moly, are we spoiled nowadays. Anyways, before anyone gets upset here, I'll mention that some people have put together order 10 word squares, but they all had something that was sort of wrong with them. Uh -oh. Either a word was not generally accepted as a proper word, or it was a reduplicated word. This so-called holy grail would be to find 10 10-letter words that exist in a single database or dictionary, are accepted as proper words, are not phrases or reduplicated words, and are all English. So I took this file that had some 450,000 English words, and what do you know, about one-tenth of them are ten letters long. Cool. At this point, I just did a little math out of curiosity. How many actual possibilities do we have to work with? Well, it's a 10 by 10 grid, so that's 100 places, but since whenever you fill out a row it also fills out a column, that means that you're actually only choosing 55 individual letters. 26 letters means this is 26 to the power of 55, which is enormous. It's roughly 6.66 times 10 to the power of 77. Lovely. Or this number. But if you do random combinations, you're not likely to actually make any words that exist. We have a list of words, so we can be smarter about this. Of course, I couldn't resist brute forcing every word, but that still meant that for every row and column, it would have to check all 45,000 of the words. And then for each of those, check all of them from the next column, and so on and so on. It's that, that's like 45,000 to the power of 10, which is 3.4 times 10 to the power of 46. Not as bad as before, but still really bad. At this point, it's an exercise in optimizing the algorithm. There are different ways to do this, but I was lazy, so I just did a crap ton of pre-processing. Essentially, I created several thousand lists for each possible way a word could start, up to the first four letters. Those lists were then organized into a dictionary where the key was the starting pattern. That way, if we already know that a word we would need to fill in starts with, let's say, H-E-I, that narrows the total number of words we'll have to look at from 45,000 to only four. This shortened the total runtime from the order of, like, months to roughly 16 hours, which was fine because I was doing other stuff while it ran anyways. Ah, uh, aren't computers great? You can just let them work and go off and... Your time is almost up, foolish human. This could probably still be a lot faster. Maybe do it in C++ instead of C Sharp. Use more speed-efficient techniques, smarter algorithms, or whatever, but this worked. So I tested it on smaller orders and got tons of valid word squares. So let's see what I got after those 16 hours of checking for order 10 squares. <laughs> well, there, <laughs> there you have it. Uh, there were no possible order 10 word squares given the set of words I was looking through. Uh, the other guy's research actually turned up the same thing. I was just able to do it way more easily and in way less time. The list isn't exhaustive, there are probably a few 10-letter words out there that aren't on it, but it seems exceedingly unlikely that one will be found. You never know though, people are making up weird new words all the time that get accepted as official, so maybe it's just a matter of time before we invent the right ones. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.